Hello everybody, welcome back to youtube.com slash geekloud for another Let's Install. Today it is Shipwreck Escape's turn. That's right, Shipwreck Escape going on to a PlayStation 5. I'll go ahead and hit that download button and it's important that I give a big shout out to the developers, uh, Ocean Media LLC, for providing the code for this very install. Thank you very much. Uh, for the code, it enables us to continue on our merry way here on the channel. I can tell you currently, Shipwreck Escape is 1.591 gigabytes. And furthermore, if I can get back here, I can tell you, look at this. It's like a 2D, although it says 2.5D, but this looks very 2D to me. It's a puzzle platformer where you have to work your way off a ship. Self puzzles, you know, unlock doors, get access to new levels, pick up an item on one level, take it up to the other level, solve the puzzle. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, so a little puzzle solving 2D platformer, puzzle platformer, if you will. And as I said, it is... 1.591 gigabytes. And coming up this Thursday on Geek Aloud is the Gaming Enforcement Agency. That's right. Each and every week right here on Geek Aloud, myself, Bully, Unky Dunky, sit down on the couch and discuss the games we've been playing. Typically, it's about six games a week. The three of us have gone hands-on with in detail. There's a bunch of footage over to my right as we do it, uh, where we show you the gameplay as we discuss it. We tell you exactly what you can look for in a game, types of things to look out for, uh, and then, of course, we get into the newsroom, and then it's everyone's favourite segment where we put the best of video gaming up against the other best of video gaming. We just did episode 64 of the Gaming Enforcement Agency, and it was an absolute ripper. No spoilers, but it's available now. Go check it out. But for now, let's install Shipwreck Escape Native PlayStation 5 Edition right here, youtube.com slash giggleout. All right, it's getting exciting now. Installed Shipwreck Escape right here on Geek Aloud. Let's boot it up now. Have a look at that main menu. I need to turn on my audio here. Uh, we'll boot it up now. Have a look at that main menu. We'll see if there's any uh, settings I'd recommend changing. Sometimes there's a visual mode, you know, performance versus um, frame rate. Performance is frame rate. Resolution versus frame rate. How about that? Uh, there might be some audio settings worth checking. Checking maybe some accessibility uh, options we want to tweak. Well, anyway, we'll pump open that main menu. We'll bring it up. We'll dive all the way through it. We'll check each and every one, and then we'll bounce back on out to the PlayStation Five desktop, and I will full, pull up for you the um, the current version number and the full and complete install size. All right, controls, pretty standard fare there. Music volume, standard effects volume, camera waving. Camera waving, hi. Uh, language, English, difficulty, easy. Interesting that's easy by default. Easy, hard, and normal. You would think normal would be default, but I guess not. You can clear the progress if you want to. Let's pull up a control map, here we go. Sprint is R1, crouch is L1. Interactive Square or X and movement is either D-pad or thumbstick. That's pretty standard fare there. Okay, let's now pull up the particulars for Shipwreck Escape, shall we? And wrap up this here Let's Install video. 
I can tell you, currently version 1.000.000, and that is a full and complete install size of 1.63 gigabytes for Shipwreck Escape right here, youtube.com slash geekloud. Please come back Thursday night for the Gaming Enforcement Agency, our weekly video gaming podcast. You're absolutely going to love it. Check one out. What else can you do with the channel? Like it, subscribe it. You'll never miss it. Yeah. <laughs>